Now for the internet connection. Here we have a firewall that's connected to both the core switch and the internet. To keep it simple, we can think of the firewall as a router with some advanced security features. We'll talk about those features in another video. Just like the WAN router, we add a small slash 30 subnet and IP addresses. As for the subnet between our firewall and the internet provider, well, that's given to us by the provider. We usually don't get much say in that. But for completeness, we'll document it here too. Let's say that our ISP gave us 203.0.113.128.30. The ISP has said that they will use .130, which leaves us to use .129. Also remember that private IP addresses that we've been using won't work on the internet. We can only use public addresses on the internet. So for this reason, we configure the firewall with NAT. Any traffic heading out to the internet will use the public IP of the firewall. If you would like a brush up on how NAT works, I recommend taking a look at the NAT video in the fundamental series.